So we draw our pips from the loop of A to the top of D, and we will set our target to the 50% of A to D, because that's where the pair normally retraces to the area. In addition, our second target will be the 1272. Because this is the target two for all guard leaves and whatever. Now, as you can see, there was a retracement at the 500, and there was also one at target two. So this pattern completed at target one, and then it completed again on target two. And as you can see, how violently price bounced here. This typically means that a pattern was formed. So now let's draw our X to A. In other words, we're going to replace our A, B, C, D and turn it into, into an X and A leg. And we will remove our previous pattern and now let's see the relationship between A, B and the possible C. Now as you can see the B, C leg was only a 3A2 retracement. Now, as I said, when price retraces from the 3A2 and does not pass it, then it typically ends up being a butterfly. As you see here, it reached the 1.272 of XA, becoming a failed Gartley in this area here. This would have been a Gartley. Failed. This here as well, a failed Gartley. And then turned into a butterfly. So whenever you have a BC leg that is of 3A2, never trade it as a Gartley because you run the risk of failing unless you wish to be risky. So now I move my I move my fib. I draw backwards from B to A. And I place these percentages right on C to measure the C to D leg. And it shows the difference between the 2.0 and the 2 of XA. So, so XA converges with 200% of C to D. Now, you also notice that at 100% of C to D, there was convergence with the 786, full convergence, but it failed completely. There was also convergence at the 886. It did do some retracement, it had some support there, but it failed and turned into a butterfly at the 1.272. And this is where you would have wanted to have your target, where you would have had it, because you would have seen that it was just a 3A2 retracement here. Now, this trade over here, at the 127% of CDD, you could have taken it and probably nailed about 20 pips or so but it would have been pretty risky and I do not recommend it if you're just starting off now let's label our pattern and let's outline it so you could see it better. And let's see how far this retrace to. So we will draw from our A to D, which set our target F 
50%. And our target to uh, 1.272. And as you can see here, price barely missed the 500 point by, by about 10 or 12 pips. And this is why I strongly recommend on my threads to only take 30% of profit in any given pattern because it's a, a very high success rate. Or if you want to be conservative but still get in a higher amount of profit, I would trade the measurements of C to D and only to profit level. But still got out of me about 50 plus pips and as you can see from 5 o'clock in the morning 415 to the next day at 12 a.m. price flirted around that area at the 382 zone so you you would have most definitely limited out if you would have played this conservatively And this is how you identify a butterfly and Gartley pattern using your Fibonacci's. And